For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And if you have never called upon the name of Jesus Christ for salvation, your name will never be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. When you have never called upon the name of Jesus Christ to be washed of your sins, your name will never be known in glory. For there is no other name given amongst men whereby we must be saved. And that name is the precious name of Jesus Christ. A name that God has set forth from eternity to today. A name above all names. And in the name of Jesus Christ alone, are you able to get to heaven? Now, I did not call upon the name of Baptist. I didn't call the name upon Catholic. I didn't call upon the name of Luther. I called upon the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. A Christian is a person who has put their faith, belief in Jesus Christ alone and nothing added. For the Bible says not of works, least any man both. And when we get to New Jerusalem, we will honor and glorify and worship God the Father and God the Son alone. The great names throughout history of the church age won't matter in glory. But the one that is marked in his hand, the one that has the, the scar in his side from the spear, and the one that had been nailed in his feet upon Calvary's cross. Now the Bible declared for those that are saved to go in all the world and preach the gospel. That's why we're here every week, Lord willing. We are here to present the gospel, and the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. And he was buried, and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is the means for you to get to heaven. It is never by baptism. It is never by being good. You're never good enough. And it's never by church attendance. Salvation to get to heaven according to the scriptures is through Jesus Christ alone. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There is coming a time in your life that you will die. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You are going to die because you are a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Unwashed 
sinners cannot get to heaven. Even if you are good, good people are in hell. Bad people are in hell. Religious people are in hell. But those who've been washed by the blood of the Lamb that taketh away the sin of the world are in glory. See, religion is man-made, but Jesus Christ is God-approved. I don't need another body. Jesus Christ is the means of salvation. Jesus Christ is the means of you going to heaven and rejecting Jesus Christ to go to hell. You get to a place called heaven by believing on Jesus Christ and being washed of your sin. And you go to hell by rejecting Jesus. There's one way to heaven, that's Jesus Christ, and there's multiple ways to get to hell. And you can be good, you can be religious, and still go to hell. Because salvation is not based upon you, it's upon Jesus Christ. And what Jesus Christ has done, not what you have done. See, the gospel is not how good man is, it's how good that Jesus Christ is. It's a never about us. The only thing about us is we're sinners. The Bible says all have sinned and we have need of that Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The very fact that we have a story called Christmas and we have a time called Easter, though pagan in origin, we have the birth and resurrection of Jesus because sinners need the blood of God to be cleansed of their sin. And if church attendance can save your soul, we would have never a need for Jesus to be born. And if the name of Baptist, the name of Catholic, the name of Luther, the name of Jehovah Witness, the name of atheism, the name of science could save your soul, we would not have the empty grave. There would be no need. And that the very fact that there is the story of the virgin birth and there is the empty tomb, that is the way. That is the only way to get to God the Father. Because the virgin birth and the empty tomb has been all fulfilled by prophecy, been fulfilled by scripture through the man, Jesus Christ. There is no human man that can save your soul or do anything for your soul. But the man that is 100% human and the man that's 100% God, the name of Jesus Christ, that is able to save your soul. You said you were scary. Oh. Scary. Rated R for ridiculous, I guess. Something like that. I don't know. Don't let the gospel scare you. It's the fact that Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. You know what should scare you is when you go into hell and you don't ever come out of hell. That ought to scare you. Listen, April 21st, 1987, I got saved because I didn't want to go to hell. 
And the only way to get out of hell was I put my faith and belief in the finished work of Jesus Christ alone. That's it. Nothing else saved my soul but Jesus. Nothing else put my name in the Lamb's book of life but the blood of Jesus Christ. Nothing that I have done could save me but repenting and putting my sins and my faith in the Son of God, who is God, Jesus Christ of the Bible. That's the means of salvation. When the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. When God has set forth the standard, before man was ever created, because the foreknowledge of God, God knew that man would sin. He's got foreknowledge. And before man had ever sinned, Jesus said, I will go and suffer and die for them. Because they can't do it. It's like saying, I'm going to go wash my car in the mud. I'm going to wash my sins with sin. No, you got to wash your sins in the sinless one, in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Or there's no salvation. But well, you say, preacher, I said this prayer, and people are in hell who said a prayer. People who have sat and people who are sitting in pews in churches today are going to go to hell and are in hell. Good people are in hell. But those that are washed in the blood of the Lamb of the Lord Jesus Christ are saved and are in glory and will go to glory and will be absent from this body and present to the Lord through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ alone. And Acts 20, 28 says that that blood is God's blood. And if you don't have God's blood that washes away your sins, you are not ever going to get to a place called heaven. You'll fall short. You won't make it. You need to be washed in the blood of the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. You need to come to Jesus, the great high priest, and not a sinner priest. And all men, priests, rabbis, preacher, whoever, they're all sinners and they cannot absolve your sin because they're sinners. You can't come to me and say, preacher, release my sins. I can't do it. I'm a sinner. You must come to Jesus. You can't say, well, I like that preacher every Saturday morning. I really like him. I can't do nothing for your souls. I am a messenger. And the hope of your soul is to put your faith and your trust and your sin in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the world but by me. When Jesus said that he is the way, he has ruled out anything you've got in your brain and in your thoughts that will get you to heaven without Jesus. Because Jesus said, I am the way. Hey. Get over here now. I say get over here. 
If you were to come to ask for directions, Zoe, come here. and I say, well, you take this road and go straight down this road, and you'll find what you're looking for, and you decide, well, I'm going to turn off. I'm going to go another way. You're not going to get to where you were going. You'll come short. And the Bible has set forth on how to get to heaven. Faith and belief in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confessions made unto sin. All I'm doing is I have believed God with my heart. And I can't shut up about God through my lips. I am not being forced to preach. I am not being paid to preach. I am here in my own voluntary, willing way of wanting to be here because I want to boast and I want to talk and I want to spread the good news that Jesus Christ saved my soul and he's able to save your soul. And it's that simple. Now we're going to hear about a man who the angels don't want him, but I'm telling you, the angels will rejoice in hello, heaven, hello, and welcome to the that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord, the angels in heaven, today. Luke chapter 15, My name's Mack. I'll be your entertainment. will rejoice well, at, least I hope it's entertainment. <laughs> at your salvation. <laughs> call it other things, but there you go. And the glory of, of God is, is not you. Song I wrote and, uh, the so glory uh, of God <laughs> is <laughs> not you coming to Jesus. The glory of God is Jesus Christ. As long as they keep it to themselves. <laughs> the glory of God is that Jesus is able to save your soul. God's glory is not us. God's glory is not that he is repentant and got right. Empty pages. But God's glory rests in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ forever. And there is nothing else you can do that when you die to be relieved. And the Bible speaks about an afterlife after death. And the afterlife is heaven by Jesus and hell by rejecting Jesus. Without Jesus, you will not make it to heaven. Without Jesus, you cannot go to heaven. You cannot be having God pleased with you when you have rejected His Son. There is no pleasure in God with those that reject Jesus Christ. Son, we have to. There is no satisfaction of God without Jesus Christ in your faith and belief and life. The satisfaction of God is that Jesus Christ suffered and died for man and sinners according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures that satisfies God. And when the sinner puts his faith in that salvation, 
that satisfaction, the angels rejoice in heaven. And when you rely on, well, I go to church, the angels in heaven are like, oh, big deal. Look at everybody goes to church down there. When you say, I eat Jesus, and I drink Jesus, you commit an abomination of the Bible. The Mass is an abomination of God through the Bible. And the righteous is when you have put your faith in trust in Jesus Christ alone. Happy people living kind of merited When your satisfaction Smiling is the satisfaction dream. of God, and that satisfaction so we have to is in the name and the work of Jesus Christ and so Jesus Christ alone. Without Jesus, you won't make heaven. You have no hope of going to heaven without Jesus. For the Bible says that Jesus is the blessed hope. Departures and arrivals. There is no other hope but the hope that rests upon Jesus Christ. Flights to fleeting fantasies, hoping things will change. Salvation set by God has been finished by God, and that's Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross. He said, and I quote, it is finished. You need not add anything to salvation. That is an artificial preservative, and God does not take artificial preservatives. You must put your trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ to be saved. Only say, I am going to heaven we cannot be by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ and yourself on rings calling and without Jesus Christ you will not make it. You have no hope of making You don't care about God. Because God is Jesus. You can't say, oh, I love God and I don't believe Jesus or I don't want Jesus. They're one in the same. Salvation. Going to heaven. It's not what you think. It's what you believe. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And without Jesus, life will be hell. Eternal life. My name is Teddy Mack. God has no loophole. And uh, I want to tell you all, all about our You our can't market sneak here. into heaven. Uh, first, over on the west side. Without there, Jesus. Yanni's Produce. That's right. Yanni's Produce right over there. I see lots of beautiful stuff. Of course, that's all around out here today. Lots of delicious farm fresh. The glorification of God is 
seen his finished work of Everything's a dollar, that's right. Dollar produce and Yanni's produce. Jesus. Going to heaven is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. That's what we're told to preach. The gospel, the good news, the good tidings, that Jesus is able to save your soul. And it's really, really good too. I am, I am. Nothing but the finished work of Jesus. This is amazing. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. And you can be saved. And you will be saved. When you come to the Lamb of God, would take away the sin of the world. And we're all sinners, but the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And there is no expectations outside the finished work and belief in Jesus. There is nothing else that a sinner can do to go to God except he come to Calvary. My name is Jody Mack. I want to tell you all a little And when bit he about comes to Calvary today, and he produce, receives uh, that bloody sacrifice on the west side. of Jesus Christ, Don't forget us, he's gourmet and he comes out of the uh, empty here. tomb yeah, in belief, years here. That's, right. that's when he's a Christian. It's like Grandma used to make. Tommy growling, need a little mash. A Christian uh, comes to Calvary, uh, repents of his sins, and comes out of the empty tomb. Believing and washed and cleansed by God. That is a Christian. It's that simple. God made salvation so simple a child could get saved. Marco Street Farm Produce over on the west side over there. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And we shall not forget whether Holt's honey or Daytona Beach, honey. Locally. I didn't say give money. I didn't say do this. I didn't say go there. I said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou and shalt be here. saved, sure Acts 16, spice, 31. Stacy, our spice master of local lore around here in Daytona. Let Sarah get a little packet of zing for your, for your You can't be saved by be being good. When you're good, you can't be saved. Because in order to receive a pardon of God, you got to be guilty. And without guilt, there is no pardon. So when you come to God with your decrees of religion, You're coming to God and say, hey, look, I'm innocent, and you're not. You're guilty. When you come to God and say, God, look how good I am, you're declaring that you're innocent and not guilty, and a pardon can only be received by a guilty party. You're a sinner. Christ came and died for sinners. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. You're a sinner. And you're the sinner that Jesus Christ suffered and died for. And you've got to come to Him by faith and belief. That he is able to wash and to cleanse. Thank you. Work for her. Work. work for her better way. Right? Right. God is able to wash and make you clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. And without the blood of Jesus, you will not be clean. I'm living a good life. I'm living a good life. There is nothing.
nothing. I'm living the good life. Insecurity I'm of heaven. Outside of Jesus Christ. There is nothing Slippery little thing. that can cleanse you of your sin but the love of God. And the love of God is Jesus Christ. We love Him because He first loved us. And the love of God is that He gave us His only begotten Son. But have everlasting life. That's a good thing. So don't this life away. You are not well without Jesus. Living 